This video is about groups, and I believe they are one of the most powerful aspects of scroll. It isn't just because groups simplify finding related people quickly, but because of what you can do with them. But first, let me show you how to organize and work with groups. The currently open My Contacts group contains people you've added to the Google Contacts database that is behind your smartphone and Gmail. The Favorites group synchronizes with the Favorites contacts on the Android phones. It is also available on iPhones as the Start in Android group. The Reminders group monitors birthdays and anniversaries related to your contacts. Here, you can see a list of pending reminders five days before and five days after today's date to make sure you'll never miss them. You can use the contact sidebar to add a pending reminder to Google Calendar, remove it from the list, snooze it, or find and send a gift to someone special from a curated catalog. The updates group contains people's names that you sent requests to update their information and when, who read them, who replied, view their notes to you, accept their changes, resend requests, and delete them from the list. The recently viewed group contains names of people you've recently contacted so that you can come back to them the fastest. Except for My Contacts, you can turn off any of these four groups if you don't plan to use them. The next set of groups are the ones you will add yourself to match your personal and professional needs. Let's check out how custom groups make the Congress database a lot more functional and convenient. Here, the members of the United States Congress have been grouped by party affiliation, such as Democrat and Republican, positions, such as representative and senator, and state delegations, such as Massachusetts, New Jersey, and New York. There are two more special groups at the end of the group list, other contacts, and unassigned. The other contacts group is a restricted section of the Google Contacts database. It contains the names and email addresses of people who sent an email to your Gmail address, but you haven't added them to the My Contacts group. To use any of these records inside Scroll, you first need to assign them to the My Contacts or any other group. The unassigned group contains contacts that do not belong to any group. It happens when you remove a contact from the My Contacts or any other group intentionally or by accident. Adding anyone to a group takes a single click. Let's get back to My Contacts with a shortcut to see how this works. To add Congressman Aguilar to the starred group, just hover over it and click the plus button. As you can see, the counter of people in this group has changed from seven to eight. Now, let's create one more group with medical doctors who are members of the US Congress. Just click the Group Settings menu, select the Add New Group command, type the word Doctor, and click the Add button. Here is our new group. Altogether, there are 13 medical doctors in the US Congress. Adding them all one by one is a tedious task. Here is how you can do it a lot faster. First, let's click the Filter Search button. Second, let's find all names with the MD text anywhere on the list. As you can see, all 13 doctors are instantly found. Third, let's double click here to select them. Finally, hover over the doctors group and click the plus button and done in just 20 seconds. Now let's click the group name and switch over into a gallery view to see all senators and representatives who happen to be medical doctors. Removing people from this group is just as quick. First, let's return to the list and select a person you would like to remove. Second, hover over the group's name, click the minus button, and this person's name has gone from this particular group. If you need to remove several people at once, click their avatars to make a selection. One, two, three. Now click the minus button again and all three are gone. 
As you can imagine, a group representing your family or friends is different from a group representing business contacts because you would prefer to see personal information first. To do that, you will use customizable list view layouts. And here is how they work. First, let's go to the list options menu and select the change layout personal command. Next, let's use the list view settings menu to select the edit personal list view layout window to see all available columns and their status and order. Here, I selected only the fields that I am interested in. Spouse name, birthday, Facebook, note, and Twitter. Your personal layout can be completely different and include more or fewer columns, but that's what works for me. From now on, when I open the My Contacts group, I will always see a personal layout. Similarly, you may select any other list view layouts for any other group. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that having groups isn't unique to scroll, but what you can do with them really is, and here's why. Let's select the doctor group and open the group actions menu. It has five commands that apply to this group. You can use the schedule command to set up Google Calendar events or Zoom meetings with all members of this group. Next, you can use the send command to email personalized messages, send invitations, and request information updates to all members of this group. The print menu lets you print all available envelopes, labels, postal forms, and tags only for this group. The share command is used for situations when you need to share all members of any particular group with your family or colleagues. And finally, the export group command helps you export a file in one of the four formats that appear on this menu with all of the information related to each contact. If you are organizing a wedding, a webinar, or a conference, Imagine how easy it would be to use these commands to complete these tasks in minutes instead of hours. Thank you for watching this video and learning about the power of a well-organized organizer. Happy scrolling.